Hi, everybody. Wanted to walk you through a new tool that we're releasing for members called Track. And uh, the motivation behind this tool is I think we all know and recognize the importance of monitoring our investment portfolios regularly at high frequencies so that we don't get surprised and we stay on top of what's going on and we ask the right questions and do the right diligence on the funds we're invested in. Uh, and recent performance is a very, very strong indicator of uh, you know, the right questions to ask, et cetera. Unfortunately, monitoring is not easy because you may have you know, certain stock holdings and two or three DMAT accounts. You may have mutual fund holdings and a different account with MFU. You may have uh, investments in three or four small cases. So how do you check the returns of them on a frequent basis. That's the problem that we're trying to solve for members. And the track tool, I think, does a pretty decent job of helping uh, fix that problem for our members. So hopefully you like it. Hopefully um, you use it and you give us some feedback on how to make it better. We really appreciate the feedback that we got from members on the small case compare tab. Uh, a lot of the suggestions were good and we took them and implemented them. So you can help us make the tool better by passing on your feedback. Thanks a lot, guys. And so with that, let's walk through the tool. So to access the tool, you just click on tools and then you click on compare. And you're gonna have this new tab added here called track. Now, if I click it now, all I see is the returns for the benchmarks. So the nifty large and nifty mid and small indexes. And I see the one day, one month, three months, six months, one year performance for those benchmarks. But I don't see anything specific to the funds and stocks that I'm interested in tracking. So how do I do that? Well, you all using compare and it's pretty simple. If you're used to using compare, it'll be very easy for you to add uh, the funds and stocks you're interested in into your tracker tab. So the way it's done is let's say I wanna add a few small cases. I click on the small case tab. You're gonna see this new column of checkboxes. And if you wanna add something to your track page, you just add, you just click this and it gets added to the track tab. And if you uncheck it, it'll get removed. So this will help you organize what exactly you wanna see there and don't wanna see there. So let's just pick a few um, uh, funds to track here, just sort of randomly. Uh, okay. And now let's say that I also want to monitor some mutual funds. So I go to the NF tab and I add a mutual fund. And let's say I want to add a few stocks. Here we've got large cap stocks. If for some reason you want us to add some other stocks that are not added here, just let Anita know. I'm sure we'll be able to add them. Um, but we're, we've focused on the large cap universe so far. Um, so let's say I want to add this and this and this, and let's say that I'm done. So now if I go to track, I'll see that nothing is updated. And if that happens for you, all you need to do is hit refresh. And once this is refreshed and we click track, you're going to see all those things I selected grouped by the category. So all I picked three stocks to follow. They're all organized here and I can see this. The small cases are all organized here in the next category, the mutual funds, and then the benchmarks to compare relative. So in one screen, I can very easily monitor the performance of my entire portfolio and those funds that I wanna track on a regular basis. So a um, couple of preliminaries. So this thing is typically updated early in the morning for the prior day's data. So there's a one day lag in terms of um, when the closing prices will be updated, but it's updated on a daily basis. So um, this will also be saved now with your user profile. And every time you log in, your track list will remain entered into the system. So that's great. So this is pretty cool, but what we decided was we also wanted a way for members to receive a report to their phone. So they don't even have to log into Barossa to access the monitoring reports. So if a member wants, they can actually uh, sign up for alerts sent to them every morning uh, following a trading day, which gives them a summary of how their track list has performed 
um, with these stats updated on a daily basis. So I'll show you how that works. So we use something called Telegram. If you're not familiar with Telegram, it's basically like WhatsApp. It's free, uh, very secure. It's on um, iOS and Android. You just download the app and then you find the Barossa Club bot and you just start talking to it. So I'll show you how it works. So here I've got Telegram's desktop version. There's also a phone version. Um, and uh, just like with WhatsApp. And then uh, to basically use the alerts, all I need to do is find the bot. So the bot is called Barossa Club underscore, all one word, Barossa Club underscore bot. Here it is. No messages here yet. I just click the start button. And it says, Barossa Club, welcome to Barossa Club's automated alerts. Please enter your Barossa Club referral ID to get started. Uh, so to find the... So to find the referral ID, basically I go in here, I click on my account, and this is the number that I'm gonna use for the Barossa Club ID. So I can see here it's Anita51813. So if I quickly type that in here, Anita51813, enter. It says, great, I have registered you for Barossa alerts. If at any time you wanna stop alerts, just send me a message saying stop. So basically, if you find that these daily alerts are not helping you and you wanna stop them, then all you need to do at any time is just tell the bot to stop. It'll take you off the cell phone list and you won't be bothered anymore. The other thing is the alerts will only come to you if the prior day is a trading day. So on a Sunday, for example, you won't get a report because Saturday is not a trading day. If uh, Wednesday happens to be a holiday, then you won't get a report on Thursday. So it only bothers you when there's new data that's been added to help you monitor better. So what does the report look like? Well, at 9 a.m. every day, the report gets triggered and it sends a message as follows. So I'm just gonna trigger the, the message right now so you can see it. So give me one second. Okay, there we go. The message has been delivered. So here it is. Here's the return report for November 3rd, 2020. All numbers are in percentages. I have my stocks, my one day, one month, six month, and one year trailing performance, and my small cases, and my mutual funds, and my benchmarks. So in one easy screenshot, I can monitor all of these funds in one glance. So hopefully this is really helpful for you. And please use this. Please help us improve it. And um, look forward to hearing your feedback. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.